Good morning. You are listening to Dr. Prabhu. So today here we are about to discuss about a pediatric cystolithotripsy and no, scal no scalpel or knife stone removal from an infant's bladder using a laser. So let us see how the procedure went on. So here is a six months old child with lithuria. That means the child is passing a small size stones while the child is peeing. So this is the only specific complaint of the child. The child has been evaluated for the same. The child's x-ray revealed nothing and the rest of the investigations are also within the normal limits. Here you can see there is a calculi in the bladder and there is a post-acoustic shadow next to the calculi. And we thought of proceeding with laser cystolithotripsy because it has an advantage of avoiding a cut or a cut on the child's body. Let us see how we took up the procedure. So, this is a cystoscopic view of the child. Here we had additional small, three tiny calculi. Those calculi were retrieved using a grasper. And this is the stone that you could see. And here with this kind of six wattage, six watt energy, this is how you are trying to lace the stone. Here we are using a thulium fiber laser. The thulium fiber laser is pointed against the stone and the small fragments of the stone are dusted into very fine particles. The whole concept of this is using a, a high frequency and low energy settings that way the stone will not be fragmented to pieces. Instead, the stone particles are chipped from the top of the stone. That is, the principle behind that is you keep the surface area intact, the surface area of the stone remains the same, whereas the volume of the stone goes on decreasing with this procedure. This is known as fragment, the dusting or painting. So now this is how you try and reduce the surface area, you try and reduce the volume of the stone, keeping the surface area of the stone intact. So you need to keep sucking on and off. Once you feel that the stone is kind of thinned out enough, you flip the stone to the other side. You can see a clear visualization now because the entire fluid has been sucked out. Now, you, you proceed again with the same, same process of lazing in which you would, you would dust the stone into small dust fine particles. Here you could see when the stone is getting thinned out enough, you might tend to break the stone. The stone tends to break irrespective of your settings. So this is one, this is where you have to be more patient and there is nothing much to worry about. And we need to be looking at these fragments at the end of the procedure. And this is how you handle the fragments. That is, you lay down the fragments again with the same principle. And finally, this is what you could find at the end of your dust. You see almost the fragments floating up. And this is after aspirating the entire content, you see hardly any calculi with them. The child was discharged after the next day. And the child's catheter was removed after 48 hours. The child is awaited metabolic evaluation and uh, bladder calculi in a child is which is unlikely so we might need to keep the child in very very in a very close follow-up so that we evaluate any other reason for the stone for the vesicle calculate formation and these are the fragments at the end of the procedure that we sent for stone analysis and the next day ultrasound showed hardly any after 48 hours this showed any calculi and this is the stone child without any scars on the tummy so I would leave you here your awareness about the pediatric urology. Thank you all for watching.